What's up, guys? War here, and today I wanted to bring you what I think is going to be the top three builds for the best start going into Season 27. Let's get into it. So I know I've made a bunch of videos, guys, and those will be linked on uh, you know how to do your best start for whatever class you have, but I think there's still a couple classes that kind of reign supreme over everything in Season 27, okay? So Season 27 starts this Friday, which I'm very, very excited about. We got brand new... Uh, pet rewards and brand new cosmetics which i think are really great and then going into season 27 we're going to have the seasonal theme which is going to introduce the angelic crucibles if you don't know what the new angelic crucibles are guys they basically go onto any of your weapons or gear and turn them into a primal ancient item okay the the trick with this is you only get one that you can equip to any of your slots but it makes it pretty much perfect okay so that's a new seasonal theme now when it comes to the best start in season 27 and i want to break this down basically in three things is that one it's this video is all about getting from one to 70 the fastest two paragon farming and then three what is considered to go into paragon farming is the new haradra gifts that you're going to get this season all these factors kind of go into it for you know what's going to be my consent in my opinion the best three classes and builds that you're going to be looking forward to to level up the fastest okay so starting off let's look at the haraja gifts so you have you have the monk which doesn't look that good it's not that great it's remnants it's it got a little buff but it's not great okay then you have ue on hollowed essence which is basically multi-shot for demon hunter you have wrath of the voice for the barbarian which is very good and then you have tal rasha's for the wizard which up until recently into the final patch notes tal rasha wasn't looking that great but now it looks amazing okay the next thing is is that you have Rollins, which is kind of it's just trash poor crusaders man it's just bad you have Helltooth for uh witch doctor which is just okay and then rathma also very very strong okay now when it comes to leveling up the fastest guys in my opinion starting out besides the class builds that you're going to get starting out the best ones are going to be ue wrath or uh you know wrath of the way so whirlwind barb and then rathma okay now when it comes to leveling up the demon hunter and necro both have the easiest way okay you have the demon hunter which has two daggers which are super strong so it's a 50 50 shot there super powerful you have the necromancer which has four different sites that are very strong and then you have the gloves for corpse explosion and they just sail all the way to 70 no problem you have the barbarian which i'm going to put at three only because they have decent items that you can get in the beginning but if you can get there fast enough then you know wrath of the waste set is very good it's a very strong paragon farming set i think in season 27 with the new whirlwind ability from the angelic crucibles which is arguably the best power coming in season 27 so those three and then you have monk which can do their like cool little trick but monk you don't really have anything good right you have remnants which isn't good and then you have lod wave of light but it's very very hard to gear so i don't want to put monk in there so it comes down to demon hunter barbarian and necro um and then when it comes to paragon farming Rathma isn't the best at speed paragon farming. It's very strong and very powerful, but it's not the best at speed paragon farming. So then it comes down to, you know, unhallowed essence multi shot and then Wrath of the Waste, which is the whirlwind barb. Okay. Now I will say Tal Rasha is very good when it comes to like pushing, but I don't think it's a very good set for paragon, you know, speed farming. So out of these two, I think it has to go to Unhallowed Essence because you can just get to 70 faster than the Barbarian. The Demon Hunter is just too powerful. And then it's very easy to gear the Demon Hunter. And then just you can get everything else for your build after that. Okay. If you want to go in and then, you know, build different classes after, great. Do that. Okay. You can build a Barbarian. I want, I'm very looking forward to playing Barb, Wizard, and Necro this season. And probably a little bit Crusader because I really like the fist of the uh, you know ancients or whatever it's called fist of the heavens but i think the unhallowed essence build going in and demon hunter is just too strong and then also i should note guys that the impale strafe build 
is the best demon hunter build that's going to be in season 27 and this is the only season you're going to be able to play that so why not so i'm going to be playing demon hunter this season although i really want to start with uh, a barbarian but it's just it's going to be so much faster to get to 70 and then do everything towards the end game that you need to power all these other sets with the demon hunter so that is why i'm going to go with the demon hunter the barbarian and then of course the necromancer for the top three builds to push for and start off with in season 27 guys so let me know down in the comments what do you guys think what are you guys going to be starting with in season 27 please let me know i'd love to hear it and if you guys did enjoy this today's video make sure to drop a like as that really helps if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe guys all the support has been fantastic we have been blowing up my channel over the last month and a half going on two months so thank you guys very very much um so yeah those are the three that's what i think guys let me know and then thank you for watching as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace